Hi, Shabbat Shalom. It's been a while since I've had the opportunity to address you through a video like this before Shabbat. Last week we read Shabbat Breshit, the very beginning of Genesis, but it came immediately after Sukkot and Simchat Torah, so I wasn't able to do it. And this week, now we move on with the narratives of the Torah and we read the story of Noah. It was pointed out by uh, Jonathan Sachs that there's a fundamental difference in these two stories. For Breshit speaks a lot about uh, God's vision of the world as being good. It says, Vayar Elohim Kitov, and God saw that it was good. But what we also understand in that story, and as the story continues, is that human beings are not always good. So we might have been created with the potential for goodness, but we don't always live out that goodness. This week we read the story of Noah and the flood, and it's a quaint little story in popular culture, but there's a lot of depth into that story. Noah was considered to be a righteous man in his generation, and he walked with God. But what we also find is that Noah was really out for himself and didn't do anything to save other people in his generation. And in fact, by the end of the story, we see that Noah and his family were pretty... Uh, pretty corrupt also. And so we find something else starting in this story that then continues as the Jewish people are born or the Hebrew people are born with Abraham next week. And that is, this, we're introduced into a, to a concept of Brit, which means covenant. And therein then, it's not about our nature. It's about the realization that we can be good or bad, but that we live with a covenant. And the covenant then imposes upon us an obligation to behave in certain ways. My religious life and the Jewish life that I have been teaching about and preaching about for years is one that says we're partners with God in this world. So there's a particular holiness and goodness that is created by God, but it is pretty meaningless if we ourselves don't become participants in creating goodness in this world and being responsible for other people and being responsible for making a better world. And so it is this partnership where religion is found, and we are very much important parts of that. In that light, I do want to tell you about a program coming up. On Wednesday night, uh, November 6th, that's the day after Election Day, by the way, Ellie Beer is going to be speaking here. Ellie Beer is one of my modern-day Jewish heroes his story is absolutely incredible. What he has created is beyond words. One individual who really was able to make a difference in the world, in the world of, um, of health, in the world of response to emergencies. Uh, I would invite you all, I do invite you all to come to listen to Ellie Beer and to engage in a conversation with Ellie. You'll hear both about the work that he did before October, uh, October 7th, 2023, and what he did over the past year. Please come. Shabbat Shalom, and I look forward to seeing you all in Shul.